coming in for a small landowner. Say so he's got a bunch of free range chickens, peacocks, even yard dogs that the uh, the back end of the hay field borders the pasture and it's got cows on it. He's letting me use a four wheeler. He's wanting to see if we can't get a couple of these cows out of here. <clears throat> He's losing a good many of his chickens, dogs, peacocks, all of his other yard game that he's trying to raise to the bobcats and coyotes. I'm gonna put in some, like I say, coyote trapping is not my, <laughs> not my strength, but uh, gonna put in some sets and we're gonna give it a try. But uh, he's letting me use the four wheeler, which is cool because I have trouble walking. I'll get that started and we'll see how it goes today. Here's where the guy has been losing all his chickens and peacocks, eating, eating, killing dogs and stuff like that. So I come down here on the creek around the edges of the field. And I'm finding where the edge of this field and the edge of the creek runs. There's going to be a lot of activity right through here. I'm going to get in a dirt hole set right in here. Catch them coming around the edge of the field, going through the travel way, or going up this fence line. But uh, it's going to be my X on the spot, I think. I'll get that set in. We'll take a look at it. Putting in a dirt hole set right here. And uh, this cookie cutter that I got for these number two square jaw really does a good job in this clay. I punched it in there, pulled it out, and it's number two went right in its spot. But uh, I'll get the set finished. I want to take a look at it again. It's where I've taken my, uh, had that number two square jaw bedded. I took a lot of the grass fluff from around the area, pulled it into my sifter, and I kind of graded it up and uh, dry bedded it with just leaf fluff. Kind of like a uh, pipe dream set, but this is like everything is muddy, so I'm doing it with leaf fluff and shredded grass. Now here's gonna be my entrance to the dirt hole. But uh, I'll get it baited up and move on. Well, here I am at the finished dirt hole. Got a little bait in it. Got it covered with leaves and grass so it couldn't be seen. I am gonna take a little bit, just a little bit of my Alpha Delta caster lure and put it up here as a curiosity lure. But I'll get that put on a stick and set over here. So where I'm fixing to put in set number two. I have a creek washout right here on the bank. It's running down along this field edge. You hit this washout, everything's gonna come around it. And the trails going up through here, the four-wheeler trails going through there, the four-wheeler trail going out through here. And this washout on the bank should make a pinch point right about here. Everything coming around it's gonna to have to come around it. This is gonna be set number two. It's gonna be dirt hole number two. I've already got the uh, cookie cutter punched out of, of a trap bed for me. Dropped in the number two square jaw Duke four coil. And I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it like I did over in that grass set, only I'm gonna come up, come up here and get all this cedar duff and uh, run it through my sifter and cover the whole setup. There's my deep punch hole under that root, using it for a backing bedding the trap about nine inches back about three and a half four inches offset to the right and we'll take this cedar duff and cover the whole area but uh, i'll take a look at it in a minute here's my dirt hole set with that natural backing i went and got a couple scoops of that cedar fluff and come over here and sift it over the whole area 
as muddy as it is i'll just be packing mud in around the trap so i'm using the, the cedar fluff and the leaves run through my sifter as the uh, over cover on the trap i'll get this one baited up the traps right there and uh, move down to set number three hopefully <laughs> i just got to thinking i got a new name for this set for me coyote caster hole caster lure back behind it <laughs> as an attractive i got the bait in the hole trap bedded right here i'm going back up and let that one work because see you can smell the caster and you can smell the bait that i've set in it i'm gonna move down to the corner of this field put in set number three just moving on down the same creek on the same property the back end of the field uh, I've been hearing all these coyotes every night I'm only a mile or so from here's where I live so he asked me to come down here and see if I couldn't help him with the chicken killers but everything's gonna be traveling this ditch everything hunts the ditch I found this another spot that caved in that's going to be my backing because it's already there and you can just see the trail that skirts the edge of this it was right around all these cedars but I'm going to put a set in right here where everything has to come around this cabbed off spot into the creek I've got that spot down there at that cedar tree set that set over in the corner of that field but this to me is another x so that a trap has to go there this is dirt hole i think number three using that as my backing it was already there i destroyed everything like a dog or cat digging pretty good sized punch hole about the length of the hammer shovel thing i've got to let me get before i put the bait and a grass wad down in there covering it up but traps going in right there and I'm gonna get my grass stuff in my sifter and sift over everything in all this mud that way it don't the trap don't have to fire in the mud we'll get this one finished and move on there's my finish set good eye appeal put a little taller water grass here to make a step over and that step over is going to be on the pan that square jaw number two made it the lowest spot and just uh, just sift the grass over everything not as a dirt covering but a kind of like a pipe dream set but uh, there's the dirt hole there's the blowout in the creek and the game trails all coming right through here we should put them right where the eye appeal of the dirt hole is Got it set, got it lured. So move down to the other corner of the field. What I've got is the same series of trees on the same field. I'm coming down to the corner of the field. Everything has a trail that's running up through here, going to cross over to somebody else's property. There's a log that kind of makes uh, like a guardrail. Yeah, I don't think you want to go through there. So they follow the log up here. I can see where everything's crossing through the fence right here but i mean everything's coming up the edge of this field hitting that log coming around it going through here the, there's a separation in the fence right there where everything's I, this is going to be a hot spot too right right there i'll get that set put in Let's take a look at it where i beat that uh cookie cutter into the ground it takes out a perfect Square jaw number two. Uh, trap bed when you wiggle that clay wad out of there. I'm setting that trap right there. It's gonna be a dirt hole in the brush pile. I'm gonna flash it up when I get done and use the leaves and grass sifted over it as a trap bed covering. Should work pretty good. Everything's crossing right here going through that gap in the fence coming across the creek coming right through here on the way down the fields 
all these coyotes back in here just howling every night. But uh, I'm gonna put a brush pile in down, brush pile set in down here too. Get this one finished. There's the dirt hole in the brush pile and the number two is gonna be bedded right here when I get done. We'll take a look at it. Well, this is the job that cookie cutter does. You can beat it down in there. Wiggle it just a little bit and out comes the perfect bed with the levers and everything already set in it. We'll finish this one and move on down to the brush pile. I'm starting to really like it, cookie cutter in our clay soil. I'll we'll see you in a minute. Well, there's the number two square jaw. Set down in the cookie cutter bed hole and just kind of shove the dirt in around it. Rock solid. And uh, got the hole baited already. And took some uh, castor lure, smeared it on the end of that log like a cat rub. And a little on the end of that log right there above the dirt hole and uh, with all the guiding that's already here I should put the foot right there but I'll finish this set and take a look at it after it's been kind of mulched over <laughs> we'll see you in a minute there's the brushed in or brushed over set right in front of the dirt hole in the brush pile trap is bedded right here already got this little bush for guiding got the corner of the brush pile for guiding everything fluffed up and lured should put the foot right there we'll find out in the next day or two I'm moving down well, I was headed up here to this brush pile to put in a brush pile set and I believe I have found even a better location I was coming down through the field just looking for sign, looking for what's going on. I was going to put a, like I said, a baited hole like a cubby set in here for cats. But the, this little creek has water in it. And it comes down to this little land bridge right here. So to me, this one was going to make a really good crossing location and a location for a set. I'll probably use this bush as backing because the prevailing wind is right here. That is a heck of a crossing right there. Right between those trees. But still looking at putting the set in there. Maybe I'll look and see if I find any sign. But uh, right here is the set going to be going in. And I'm going to have to go down there to the brush pile plan B. I was digging into this for a backing. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not dirt, that's an ant mound. <laughs> they started pouring out of there everywhere. I said, oh yeah, the bait wouldn't last long in there. I moved down to the brush pile. Just riding around looking at fence crossing locations on the creek. Comes to here, ties off to that oak tree and goes this way. I'm not seeing any tracks or sign right here from crossing. And the brush pile wound up being a bus too. It is full of fire ants. No bait or lure in a fire ant hole. It'll last about 10 minutes. I'm gonna drive around, see if I can find any fresh sign and crossing on the fences, fence corners, high spots in the fields. Any, any trail coming out of the brush over there, I'll look and see if I can find fresh sign. 